So hi guys, as I said, I'm right now in front of the orc town. Asha, greet friend. Friend have Ulumulu. Be good. Friend no forget carry Ulumulu in hand when go over bridge. How you doing, my friend? Ursak be healthy. Ursak not looking find own Ulumulu. Maybe Ursak go home with own Ulumulu. Friend come when need help. Take care. So he tried to warn me. But normally when when I come here I I just kill every single one of them. I don't use the Ulumulu. Let me just take my armor. This way I can get a lot of experience so if you want your Ulumu and go inside nobody can nobody's going to do anything to, to you with the Ulumu they will just going to act a little bit strange and that's all
they probably fight with the shaman right now. This one. This time he's in trouble because of me. Anyway, I will also make another video and uh, I will show you what's go going to happen if I just come with the Ulumulu here. So not all of them are so unfriendly. But I will kill them on uh, only the ones that attack me. So as you can see we can just go here dance and play some orc music and I have one uh, something uh, really special to show you about this place but I'm going to make another video it's how I actually come here very early in the game uh, through the uh, going through the mountains from the other side and uh, I'm coming here with a bow and a lot of arrows and I'm standing here on this wall and I'm killing a lot of orcs and this is how I this is how I actually get a lot of experience in a very early stage uh, in the game
So let's just kill them all.
so now since we are here I will go here in this cave there is very nice sword to take it just stays there for free and after that we need to get this statue here So here it is. And I don't remember taking something else from here, but let's see. Nope. Nothing. Okay. And there is also nothing here, I think. Yeah. So now we're gonna go back and take the statue before we uh, we go uh, into the cave but the thing is we need the statue actually to open the gate to go uh, under the orc town and we need to use magic for that I don't really use magic a lot I only in uh, quests like this one when I need to use the magic when I uh, must uh, use some spell scrolls only to get the mission done and if I didn't kill those orc shamans right now normally I, I don't kill them I wait uh, until they uh, attack me but uh, yeah now I just decided I want to kill them. So we are looking for telekinesis. And I... oh, it's this one. look like so this is it we uh, we are supposed to go inside the uh, this cave which lie which lay uh, exactly under the orc town and this is the quest with the name 
way into the sleeper's temple so uh, with this statue we can open and uh, we can move this level lever here and uh, we the gate will be open but uh, yeah I'm going to cut this video here because it's already too long and I know that I promised one video one quest but this is uh, one of the last quests and it's uh, a really uh, it's a really long quest so I'm going to to organize uh, very nicely and I will put uh, these quests uh, on more videos like video 1, 2, 3 but I will organize everything so you can find everything uh, uh, very easily on the channel so yeah we see each other later so let's try the new sword before we go in It looks nice. So there are going to be a lot of skeletons here and one thing that I like to do when I'm here I'm just taking one uh, this one of those uh, sprint potions and go and kill the, the skeleton mage at first so he cannot summon uh, any more skeletons So I think this was pretty much everything. Yep. Oh, here inside there are a couple of them.
there is a switch here. And there is a switch here. So I totally forget in which order I supposed to turn the stones uh, so I can open the gate but I think it was written somewhere here on the wall I'm not sure yeah exactly so this is they make this very nice I I really like the way how they uh, how they make all those uh, uh, funny quests uh, where you should turn stones and stuff like that in order to open any gates so it's kind of Indiana Jones <laughs> movie yeah but anyway here you should see these three colors and uh, you should open you should turn the stones in uh, uh, in, uh, in this order so yeah let's just try so first is the red one Here supposed to be the last one. Exactly. Now you see how you can actually open the door, and uh, if you're s uh, somewhere stuck in the game and uh, you're not really sure uh, how you can open uh, those gates. Uh, you should always try to look uh, on the side sides so on the wall there is always something written like sometimes you're going to need a bow and arrow or a crossbow to in order to shut some stone and open any gates uh, stuff like that I really like it Thank <laughs> you. 
So I always kill the mage first so he's not going to be able to summon more skeletons so after that you can fight the skeletons easier but they can be also very tricky and if you have uh, some of these sprint potions I will recommend to use one of them So you may also notice the, those cuts that I am doing in the videos because the game just crashed and I was I was about to to kill the rest of those skeletons but right now I just come back kill everything there and I I will just uh like to clean this passage too so there is going to be some cuts in the videos like maybe a lot because as you know the, uh, the game can crash from time to time so it that's even make uh, uh, this uh, uh, making this video very hard but yeah Yeah, you can do this also. So just let li him like this right now. Oh, okay. So you probably noticed the cut on the video. That's this is happening only because of the crashes the game crash a lot so let's just try to do this quickly 
in order to open this gate we need to stuck a sword in this uh, uh, shrine here and uh, uh, we need to turn uh, these stones in a special order that uh, the, uh, the shaman will come out and we need to fight him so the right order uh, to do this is first you're going on your right side and turn this down now a demon will come out then you go on the left side another demon let's see if it's gonna crash again yes an infidel in the house of the master damned be you you be damned you stinky moldy carpet <laughs> get this blade of light I think yeah and you need to stack it here so this is how you open this gate Okay, let's just continue. So we're back again and now uh, I'm going to continue from this side Oh, there's still some of them here
so these pictures were important actually you should I think we supposed to go with this one let's see So I choose the wrong stone. I will do this again. So this is supposed to be the right one. So let's go here first. This is the second one. Mortal! You dare to disturb my peace? Prepare for the end! It remains to be seen whose end it's going to be, you worm-bitten meatloaf. That was strange. So you should be careful here. You should try to take the spell from here, not climbing on on the stone because some kind of press come from up and gonna kill you So, the same thing also here. Mm -hmm. 
So now we're supposed to climb here on the stones and I think there is also another way we can go under. But let's see, let's try climbing. That this is also a problem sometimes when you already have learned athletics and you always jump so high and you can't control that and sometimes when you need to jump on a short distance you may have a problem Yeah, like I have right now. I will, I will try to go under because I think it was also away from here. Let's see. So you can decide which way you want to go, but yeah, if you already uh, learned this ability about athletics, you know that you may have a problem there. So in place like this, uh, all those pictures around you, they have some kind of meaning that make the game very nice. So if you see this, you should expect uh, probably some spears coming from the ground. I'll send you traveling first, you moldy maggot's idea of paradise. So I think this one was the third one. So 
so I think that we should use a bow here If I remember correctly, some yeah, it's gonna be some fight here. Okay, let's just continue. So here is also one very tricky place where there are some mind clo uh, clo uh, crawlers, warriors and uh, templars I think. So we need to open this door right now. So I know that. Okay, let's just try. So I remember here it was a little bit tricky. So first we need to go here and open this door I think and from here we need to open that one but I'm not sure anyway I will just save and yeah just for any case
So yes, we need to go here inside. We need to use the ball from here. The spears are out. Now we can enter inside and we need to wait about this uh, for this wall to come out and there is another switch that we need to turn on with the bow with bow and arrow in order to open the gate for the other cave for the other room Yeah, exactly. So, the other room is open. So I don't remember how it exactly it was, but I will try. So first... Yeah, when we going to manage this, uh, then two demons will come out here. So better be prepared for fight. I think this is supposed to be the last one. Yeah. Now that door is open. no demons yeah maybe if you do it wrong then they gonna come but now you know the order first you go here on the red one then on the yellow one and here the white one is the uh, actually I can't I'm not sure about the colors but yeah So first here, then here, and the middle one you should leave it uh, in the end. So that door is open right now. So here I will try also to use one sprint potion because here is gonna be fight. Uh, 
I don't know why the Templars, those Temple Guards, uh, attack the Templar. Normally they're supposed to be on the same side. go back so I think that this is the most difficult place here in the uh, orc uh, underground temple Yeah, they have some kind of misunderstanding because they are on the same side and they need to attack me why they start fighting each other I don't know this is temple sword So here it was a little bit tricky but I think that my athletic abilities uh, helped me a lot on this place exactly. exactly. First down.
I think after turning this down this bridge will come out and I can go inside and kill the last of the shamans. The last shaman I think. So I will just jump here. Nope. Actually, I supposed to go from behind. I forget about it. This is supposed to be the Eurysial, if I'm right. Your long travel will be over! Your mortal body will burn! Now I don't really think that's such a good idea. to be the uh, Eurizio. Let's see. Or maybe not. Yeah, I think it's this one and we need to talk with Zardas.
So I think the next thing that I need to do is talk with Zardas. And as you remember we come this way from here. But there is also another way from the other side. I'm gonna show you right now. And there are going to be some uh, mine crawlers to kill here. There's some omelet. So in this point of the game normally I don't spend time gathering stuffs around because uh, I already have more than enough resources until I finish this game. And this is a journal. I think it was from somebody who was kept here. So I guess I will have enough plates to sell this to, to sell them to Wolf for making another armor. But actually, this is the only armor that you will get from him. So you can see exactly where we are right now. We come in exactly the same place. It 
let's just continue this way because we we was still maybe there is still some mine crawler here yes So now we need to go there and turn off that switch in order to open those gates but here it can be a little bit tricky especially with the jumping because as I already explained if you already learn this uh, athletic abilities then uh, you might have a problem here but there is always a solution. After I turn this switch, then I will go down. And there uh, are going to be some mine crawlers, I think, waiting for me here. Yeah. I forgot that that's going to be back that quickly so later when you need to go out you need to press this switch and climb on the rock again So there are two switches here. Three of them. I don't remember what was this switch for yeah exactly it's still the same
I don't know if I can go here inside. No. I just go out. So I remember here being a little bit tricky to get out, especially if you have learned those athletic abilities I already explained. Actually I remember the first time when I played a game I always tried to get out from here, but it's almost impossible. The best way is just to go back. There is another place where I forget to go because there is another very nice potion there. I think it was strength potion, I'm not sure. And a powerful ring too. So here is this chest yeah it's a strength potion and a ring there are a lot of stuff here but we are actually almost in the end of the game so kind of you don't really have enough time to enjoy enjoy all those weapons that you get in the end like right now I have another axe too I just use it so you went here before so it's gonna be tough fight here so I think I'm going to drink some potion sprint potion
this is also an option So, a very nice axe. This axe, we can use it right now. And let's see what kind of potions did we got. One is dexterity bonus. And strength bonus. And mana. I have 56 skill points at level uh, I need to I still need to spend them and 114 strength and 50 dexterity so at level 29 
Oh, another portion about life bonus also. I didn't see that one. So, if you are already here, this is actually the place where the awakening is going to happen and you can't right now go there because you are still not ready. Uh, the only thing that you need to do right now is uh, go back and talk with Zardas. So this is what we are going to do right now, so I will take... Uh, sprint portion I guess that you already know your way out but yeah I will show you again so I'm going to film until we are out of the uh, orc uh, temple underground orc temple So there are all kind of weapons laying around because as I said at this point uh, of the game I I just don't need anything from that because I have enough resources to uh, to uh, have uh, everything that I need from potion and weapons and everything until I finish the game. So here we are, from here uh, I will just teleport directly to Zardas and uh, yeah, I'm going to talk with him about the new sword. <laughs> 